Hello and welcome to Holiday Salute. I'm Mike Gooding. This is our 33rd year of doing this program. The idea is to honor the sacrifice and hard work and dedication of our military men and women. Over the next half hour, Philip Townsend and I will introduce you to some heroes and some everyday military family members as they try to navigate through this holiday season. Welcome to Holiday Salute, a tribute to our armed forces. We wanted to give you a look at our naval aviators heading out for the holidays. I got a chance to catch up with two squadrons, two helicopter squadrons at Naval Station Norfolk just days before they left. We talked about what they do, what their goals for this deployment are, and of course, what it's like to be away from family when everyone else is having such a festive time. This will be my third one over the holiday season. Someone has to do this job and I enjoy what I do. A little excitement, but uh, a little bit of tension in the air. I just wanted to be a part of something big and serve my country. It's all about you know, creating your own experience and uh, getting out there and doing the job. It's a huge sense of pride. You're hearing from the pilots and air crewmen of the Navy's helicopter mine countermeasure squadrons, the Blackhawks of HM-15 and the Vanguard of HM-14. It's early November, just days before both squadrons head out on deployment. I definitely say more excitement uh, first time, uh, a little bit of nerves, just kind of getting in the groove of things, not, not knowing uh, what to expect. I've probably missed uh, at least three Christmases and multiple birthdays and anniversaries at, uh, around. That's Lieutenant Commander Chad Harris. He's a pilot and the officer in charge of the HM-14 detachment, but he's also a reminder of the sacrifice every member of the team will make this year. Nobody likes to be separated from their family, but uh, it's, a, it's a sacrifice we all chose to do in this profession, and uh, we're ready to support it as needed. The two squadrons we're showing you will be in two different areas during their deployments, but they share the same task. We specialize in finding things under the water. To clear passageways for ships. Their success is in the hands of air crewmen like Derek Mills, Michael Cummings, and Richard Marisick, all husbands and fathers. My little girl, she's, I'm probably going to miss her first steps, so that's not going to be fun, but I at least got to see her start crawling. So It was hard the first time, coming home, her calling me by my first name instead of daddy. It was rough. You're trying to set up your family so that way they can be taken care of for the six months that you're gone. But the bonds formed overseas help all of them get through it. Like Michael Dix and Catherine Knox, they also have to leave spouses and kids back home, but in their place, they bring teddy bears. I call mine Toeball Teddy, his is Tactical Teddy. <laughs> so we'll take pictures with the teddy bear and be able to show our kids all the stuff that we were able to do one day and be able to give them the teddy bear when we get back. And just the pride in knowing that I'm doing something worthwhile, doing something to help my country, and the hope that one day when they're old enough, they'll be proud of me for this as well. For air crewman Annette Chinamare, the focus this time around is helping some of the younger ones on first-time deployments. I want to make sure they're okay, make sure you know they're keeping up with their family, uh, make sure they're handling their stress on deployment. Deployments that have become a way of life for Kayla Diaz and her daughter. It comes with the territory. It's kind of what we know we're going to sign up for. I know I'm always going to come back and that's what I look forward to is seeing her again. Right now, all of these sailors are in the moment thousands of miles away. Months away from family, it's time they can't get back, but at least it's replaced with work that makes our world back home a better place all year round. Well, it is a true case of mixed emotions when it comes to the idea of deploying and the holidays. On the one hand, you're very proud to be serving your country and going forward and doing the nation's business. On the other hand, you're sad because you're leaving behind everyone you know and love here in the States. Just ask the men and women of the Norfolk-based USS Kearsarge and the USS Arlington. This Christmas, they're underway at sea, deployed. I am a little anxious just because I am going to miss my family and friends, but I'm super excited. We're going to pull into some really cool ports. So um, we're going to see a lot of the world, and this is the time to do it when you're young. It's kind of sad, but, you know, I spent my birthday underway, so that was the first kind of disappointment. But you know, when I come back, it'll be exciting to, you know, after a long period, see my family and figure out what's happened over the past few months. So it's like, you know, a reunion almost. So it's something to look forward to. And yeah, I'm missing holidays, 
but on the ship they tend to do stuff to make people feel like you know you're not necessarily missing the holidays just spending it with new people it's i mean it would be sad at first but i'll be with some i've met a lot of people already on on board the ship and there are a lot of cool people so like i consider them my family as well now i know somebody has to go out there and do it so i don't mind it being us i feel like we can help as much is needed out there. I'm a little sad. It's my daughter's uh, second Christmas, so I'll miss that and she'll actually understand what's going on. But I'm really excited as well because I'll be able to save money and then when I come home, I'll be able to spoil her in every which way I can. Uh, I think I, sh I should be all right. Yeah, it's not the first holiday I missed. It won't be the last. But uh, yeah, I I'm surrounded by good people every day, so it really helps out. I joined the Navy because my granddad and my dad and my brother and everybody else always joined. So the pride that you get from doing what we do, can't replace it. There's nothing like anything you ever felt. So the sacrifice you have to make to be away from family, friends, people you love back home, it's worth it in the end. Of course, not all of the Navy's active duty force of more than 329,000 sailors are deployed this holiday season, but many are. A recent snapshot of the Navy's 287 ship fleet showed that 75 of the vessels were underway around the world. It's clearly not the way the sailors would have planned it being gone right now, but duty calls and they must answer. I would say like, I'm, I, don't, I do not get very homesick, but yes, I'll miss my family. Like uh, last year, I missed my Christmas. It just, it makes me cherish the moments more when I get to spend them with my family. So being away, I'm excited to have this experience, but also it makes me cherish the moments more when I'm home. Have you ever gone at the holiday time? Yeah. Yeah, how is that when you the holidays? Well, sad. Yeah, you try not to think about uh, the fact that you're apart and remember uh, the joys when you do reunite. Um, it never gets easier to say goodbye, but I think the deployments get easier each time. I mean, I signed up for it. I knew what I was signing up for. I'm honestly excited for it. Of course, I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to spend Christmas with them, but i got to do what I, I have to do, you know? My first deployment, I really was very, very sad, the first deployment. But, you know, I got through it, um, realized that there would be more afterward. So definitely toughened through it. It's. It's hard to be away from the holidays, but um, you have to just remember that your family loves you and they're supporting you in what you're doing. And that, uh, you know, it's just one holiday. You know, you might be gone this Christmas, but you'll be back for the next one. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough, you know. I'll, I'll probably feel it on Christmas Day. Christmas Day, Christmas Eve. Of course, I leave behind, you know, a sad face and tears, but here underway, you know, I got my family here. You know, and I, and I agreed to serve my people, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with joy so they can, they can enjoy their holidays. From the USS Kearsarge, Happy Holidays! I'm Terry Jackson from the aircraft carrier John F. Kennedy Tank Team at Newport News Shipbuilding. Happy, Happy Holidays! I am Beverly Staten with the Virginia Class Submarine Program at Newport News Shipbuilding. Happy Hi. Holidays! Before he left on deployment, Oscar Gonzalez surprised his wife, Jen, with a dog. But then shortly after he left, Jen had a surprise of her own. This is the story of a Navy family separated for the holidays with a gift on the way that's keeping them closer than ever. We've got it figured out. It's not gonna be perfect, but nothing ever is. That's Christmas at the Nezzo Gonzalez home in Ocean View this year. The decorations are up. Jen's putting the final touches on the tree. But one thing's missing. So I guess this would be my first, you know, kind of big deployment. Her husband Oscar is somewhere overseas right now with the Navy. He left in October. This will be the first deployment keeping the couple apart for the holidays. You know, it's the small things, right? You know, somebody just kind of had your lunch ready for you or, hey, we're going to go do this, we're going to go do that. Um, 
watching TV on Sundays. That's kind of our quiet time. This was some of the leftovers we had from the last care package we made for Oscar for, for his Christmas present. Peanut butter is a, a good go-to. Um, some crackers and his favorite Hershey bars. Those were a must. Jen's uh, staying busy with a full-time job of her own. She also has family close by and Oscar's two kids to keep her company. I think we're able to help each other. They understand, you know, dad's got to go work. Yeah. But, um, you know, there's just so many elements of, well, what about this? Or are you going to be here for that? One thing Oscar was here for, a surprise for his wife just before he left. When we first met, I told him I love Weimaraners. And uh, so he found one. <gasps> Come here. Look, you want your treat, huh? What better yeah, companion when you're missing it. someone than a new puppy? Yeah. This is Kona. Girl. She's eight months old. Treats. The dog Jen always wanted. Good girl, Paul. Yeah? Good girl. <laughs> Kona's fitting in just great. But even a puppy couldn't top the surprise Jen had for Oscar right after he left. You know, I kind of staged it a little bit, asking if, if he had a minute, you know, next day or two, if he could call. It was a video chat, so I actually got to uh, show him a, a robe, but it was a baby robe. So he thought, he thought I'd got him a robe for, for the holidays. And so anyway, once I <laughs> informed him that it, it really wasn't going to fit anything of him. Uh, he got it, and he about dropped the phone and, and everything. So major surprise for him while well away. Major. Jen and Oscar are expecting their first child together this spring, a little girl. You know, there's certain things you miss, right? You know, you got to go to the doctor's appointments, and, uh, you know, I know it kills him not, uh, not being there. And unfortunately, there is the possibility Oscar won't make it home in time for the birth. We've got all the scenarios played out okay. as to who will be uh, on gen duty and, and baby duty as we get there. Um, so those little things they cherish so much will have to wait. But this year, it's one little thing that'll make that wait so worthwhile. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. What is Christmas without a Christmas tree? Well, unfortunately for many junior enlisted personnel and their families, it is a reality. Fortunately, there's an organization in this country called Trees for Troops. Their ambition to make sure that everybody has a happy holiday. Have a great holiday, all. All right, you too. Thank you. This holiday season, Trees for Troops, a joint venture of the Christmas Spirit Foundation and the FedEx Corporation, is celebrating its 14th year of bringing real farm-grown, fresh-cut Christmas trees to military families from all branches of the service. Joint Expeditionary Base Little Creek Fort Story got 300 trees this year, specifically for Army and Navy families E1 to E6 on a first-come, first-served basis, and they went pretty quickly. It is. It's so fortunate to be able to receive a tree being a service member for my family, it's really, it's really, I really appreciate it. It's really nice because my husband is, he's away right now, but I'll get to have the, the house all decorated and everything when he gets home, so it's really nice. Trees for Troops delivers on average 17,000 real Christmas trees to 70 military bases throughout the U.S. and overseas every year. The trees are provided by more than 750 Christmas tree growers and retailers in 28 states. It's amazing that the, they're, we're able to get support, uh, especially being away from our families. The mission of the Christmas Spirit Foundation is to advance the Christmas spirit for kids and families and the environment. Since 2005, they've given out more than 208,000 trees. It's all done through donations, sponsorships, grants, and the work of many volunteers. The Christmas Spirit Foundation is a 501c3 charitable branch of the National Christmas Tree Association. In 2017, Trees for Troops won the Department of Defense Spirit of Hope Award. It's given annually by each branch of the military to groups that epitomize Bob Hope's values of patriotism, loyalty, freedom, and dedication. It's all about the service members. These families are coming from the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, and the Marines. And basically, it's sometimes a tight um, situation financially, and you're stretched thin. And donators and tree growers all donate and contribute to get these trees down here so these folks can have a wonderful Christmas. Hi, I'm Master Sergeant Brandy Cotton from the Hampton Roads area in Virginia, stationed at Kunsan Air Base, South Korea, and I'd like to wish my friends and family back home a happy holiday. Good morning, America. This is Specialist El Chavon Chandler here at uh, Hillsheim, Germany, with Fort Cab. Just want to give a special shout out to my family back home for the holidays. Happy holidays, Mom and Dad. 
Hi, from LUD, I'm Senior Master Sergeant Michelle Roach, deployed at Air, LUD Air Base, Qatar. I want to wish my husband, Victor, my family, and all of my friends back home a happy holiday. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Tune in Monday at 6 a.m. <laughs> We walk in in the mornings, we have a two and a half hour show, but you never know what's going to happen in the morning. No. You have to be ready to crumble up that rundown, throw it out the window, yep. <laughs> and roll with the punches. Pretty synonymous with how everybody's morning goes, you know, <laughs> right? Every single person that's watching us every single morning is truly a part of our team. I mean, really, that's, that's who we are, you know? We are, you are, we're all, we're the daybreakers. <laughs> it's what it's all about. Hi, I'm Chief Petty Officer Pam Nash. I'm deployed out here to IUD Air Base in Qatar. I want to wish my sons Eric and Isaiah happy holidays along with my friends and family in Virginia Beach, Virginia. See you soon. Hi, this is Sergeant Darrell Beatty. I'm from North of Virginia, currently deployed in Kuwait. Uh, I just want to give everybody a shout out back home and wish you a uh, happy holidays. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Hillary Tenebruso, stationed at Insterlik Air Base, Turkey. I wanted to wish Merry Christmas to my parents, my best friend Brittany, and my brother in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Merry Christmas. For many military families, the holidays can be an especially stressful time. Mom or dad could be deployed, or there could be financial hardship. Fortunately, there is the USO. And this year, for the fourth consecutive year, a concert called Home for the Holidays. Jingle bell, jingle all the way. It's amazing. It's something, you know, I've always watched the Bob Hope Christmas specials when I was a little girl and, and saw what he did with the, over, with the troops overseas and I thought, oh, wouldn't that be so fun to do something like that and not being able to travel like that, being able to do something here in my hometown that benefits the troops has just been very rewarding. The Guava Jam Band is one of the many acts to grace the stage this year at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. Keyboardist and lead singer Letha Holland Deal says it's truly the band's pleasure to participate. When you see little kids coming into your show or you hear the stories of where the money that has been raised because of this show is going and to the families that it is helping. And it personally, I've had family that has had to use the USO and just knowing that their lives are being changed and that they are being able to experience Christmas and the hope that comes with Christmas. It's just, it's just an awesome feeling. The free family-friendly concert honors the USO and local military families. Besides a special appearance from St. Nick, each family gets a free photo with Santa and each child gets a free gift. More than 20 local artists played for free over two nights and all of the net proceeds go to the USO of Hampton Roads to benefit children of military families who are in need of assistance during the holidays. It, it's wonderful for us. You know, we do so much throughout the year for all of our military families here in this area. They're, you know, we're home to some of the largest concentrations of military in the country. Um, so to be able to work with a group like Guava Jam and do um, a, a concert like this that not only is going to bring, mil you know, a lot of, of enjoyment, the concert itself, to the military family and the general public, but providing much needed funds for us for all the programs and services that we do throughout the year. The USO's Karen LeCary says the need is great. It's called Operation Holiday Spirit, and it, it helps families that may be suffering some kind of, of, of circumstances during the holidays and can't afford, you know, mom or dad might be deployed, or it may be a single family home, or some of the children may have um, some kind of disabilities or that kind of thing, and, and are just having a rough time during the holidays. So we do provide um, pro toys and, and food and that kind of thing for those military families. For concert goers, it's a cause well worth supporting and was a night they'll never forget. Yeah, my husband did 30, uh, 35 years in the Navy, so, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm all for the uh, military and helping, you know, the USO and helping the kids, and I know exactly what they're going through. Well, anything that helps the USO during my time on active duty uh, is always a good thing for the, for the troops. Uh, the USO is always out there taking care of the troops and interested in their welfare and their happiness. So I, I really appreciate it and I like to, now that I'm retired, show my, my support and uh, camaraderie for my brothers and sisters in uniform. 
It's an annual event, the wreath laying ceremony at the Albert G. Horton Jr. Veterans Cemetery in Suffolk. But for two women, it's their first time attending it. But they were supported and comforted by thousands of people there to honor our fallen veterans. Rain, was it going to keep people away? It's a beautiful thing, even with the rain. On this day, nature's beauty, crisp and green, breathing life back into those lost. Merry Christmas, Dad. I miss you and I love you so much. Denise Russell is here to honor her father, Bill Franz, a Navy veteran who passed away earlier this year. And to know that he is here and resting is just brings joy to my heart. That joy comes in the thousands. Every gravestone here at the Veterans Cemetery gets a wreath. More than 9,000 of them, each celebrating the men and women who fought for our country. It's about life and that he will and they will all continue to be with us. Here you go, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. How about that cowboy, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's also a first for Michelle Duncan. It's just been a tough year since he passed away. Her husband, Dale, of 43 years, died in February. He was an Army veteran who served during Vietnam, a proud Cowboys fan, and as Michelle describes him, a good old country boy. We're getting through it a day at a time. It's a difficult day, made easier by the overwhelming support of every family, many dealing with some of the same emotions. We're fortunate that our family is here, and I'm fortunate that I'm here to be able to do it for my husband. And knowing that all these people out here today are part of who he is too. He loved, loved, loved this country and he loved the military. This ceremony coinciding with the nationwide Wreaths Across America event. Hundreds of thousands of other veterans are also being honored all over the country. JROTC members from IC Norcom High School participated today and hundreds of volunteers helped hand out all of the wreaths donated by people and organizations all across Hampton Roads. Here, I appreciate Absolutely. it so much. Fresh Thank Pine can't replace Bill or Dale or any of the sailors and soldiers, airmen, Marines and guardsmen resting at the cemetery. But it does provide a powerful touch, a reminder of who they were and how they'll forever stay. He died with dignity, with, with all the honor that, that he deserved. And that's going to do it for another edition of Holiday Salute. We thank you for watching, but most importantly, we thank the men and women of the United States military for all they do at the holiday time and throughout the rest of the year to keep the rest of us safe. On behalf of everyone at 13 News Now, we say happy holidays.